Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another episode of Amateur Writing Tips, Amateur Tips by an Amateur Author. Um, for this episode, I just wanted to give a bad example of what not to do. And by doing that, I'm going to roast my own work. And this is actually recent work. This is not something that I wrote when I was like 10 years old. Um, uh, so the main example that I wanted to use here is uh, Show versus Tell. And that episode is coming up very soon. However, uh, a lot of this will sh is telling versus showing. And I probably shouldn't roast my own work or tell you what it's from, but... This is the very first chapter of my horror novel, um, Revelations, and it is, ugh. Uh, I, I didn't really think that there was an issue with it before, but I sent it on to a published author to review, and she roasted my ass alive. And I was defensive at first, but... The more that I looked into writer's tips and tricks and started reading um, actual published novels, I started seeing what all I did wrong. And I'm sorry for the background noise. Sometimes my laptop just sounds like a freaking 747. So, all right. So let's get into this. Revelations chapter one. This is all narration. So this chapter is called The Welcome to Paradise. There's a quote. Awake. Arise, or be forever fallen, by John Milton. Most people have a birth certificate, dental records, fingerprints, social security from the very moment they draw their first breath. I was a blank slate, as if someone had thrown my memories into a permanent recycle bin. I don't even know exactly how old I am. Firstly, nobody gives a shit right now, and that is uh, my mistake. So moving on. Ten years ago, I was in a fire. The cause still remains undetermined to this day. I assume if I could remember, I could tell you every last detail, down to the first spark, my mother's maiden name, my first crush, and what superhero I had on my childhood bedsheets. So all this is exposition. These are details that aren't necessarily needed at first. These are things that the reader can learn over time. Because it's mentioned so many more times because it's pertinent to the story. And because something's pertinent to the story doesn't necessarily mean it has to be brought all the way up front. It's like showing all the good parts of a tra of a movie during the trailer. And when you're done with the trailer, you're like, well, I just saw the whole movie, so what's the point? Okay, let's see. Skipping that paragraph. Um, would I ever remember who I was? Amnesia was unpredictable. People can take a few days, maybe a few months, to finally readjust, and some never regain their identity. This is obvious. That entire part can be cut out, because we know what amnesia is. It's pretty damn obvious. Amnesia is never the best card to be dealt in the deck of life, but the dopamine-dosed side of my brain told me maybe this was a new start, a second chance. That could stay. That could possibly stay. I would reward it, but I would maybe keep it. Perhaps there was a reason why I didn't remember my previous life or anyone in it. Didn't anyone out there remember me? Miss me? Would I eventually run in into them? Who was I really? And what happened to me? Now, again, that's some more exposition. These are um, things that happen later on in the story, questions that the um, main character asks himself later on in the story. So it doesn't matter. You can omit that and it wouldn't change anything. If you ever question, um, have issues questioning yourself whether something is important, consider removing it and see if it'll make a difference if it's removed. If the answer is it's not going to make a difference, it's not important. It's not necessary. So all those questions and the searching for answers seem to wash away in time. The only reminder being a large set of burn scars covering, covering roughly 78% of my backside and years of therapy and panic attacks. <sighs> Again, that's more exposition and it's too wordy. And this goes on for like another, God, another chapter. 
not chapter, like another like three pages. Lily, she was called. Lily Summers, the angel come to save me from the life of hell and damnation. If only I believed in such a thing. Lily was my homecoming queen, a goddess with the figure of a supermodel and flowing candy apple red hair. She was a psychiatrist. My psychiatrist, to be exact. And clearly, she was in the wrong business. So, as far as character introductions, uh, you can have something similar to that. Um, but you don't want to go into too much physical detail either, because you're already going to meet this character. Um, and you can include all these details later. Um, the next chapter says, we met a little over three years ago. All because I was smart enough to drive while completely intoxicated. Don't do that. Uh, Self-medicating with alcohol had eventually caught up to me. Don't do that either. And having nearly swerved my Riviera off a bridge into a small gorge. Instead of living my waking nightmare, a support beam halted my car and landed me another... Blah, 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 blah. Okay, that can be taken out. Um, so we had a car accident. And so she comes into his life. That's pretty much all the information that we need to know there. And that's okay to keep in. You know, we met a little over three years ago. She was my psychiatrist after I had an accident and was hospitalized. So there you go. All right, so moving on. So here, churches creeped me out. Not necessarily the small white barn ones seen on grassy highways in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. <laughs> I can't believe I put that line in there. Um, no, it was the big cathedral ones, towering to the sky with figures of demonic gargoyles watching the ground, silently judging from above. Of course, that was the kind Lily went to. I would walk her to her to the ground several mornings a week and meet back with her after I had finished window shopping and grabbing breakfast at the nearest Starbucks. I would argue that would be okay to keep, um, uh, simply because that's just giving a little bit of information as to why he doesn't go to church. So, I could never be at peace in their presence. Whose presence? The church. I need to fix that. My palms got sweaty and my chest grew tight near them. Shitty description. Panic attacks. I don't know what unnerved me about them. Maybe something happened when I was a child. Again, this is more kind of possible exposition. These are things that the character can worry about later because it's all told from his point of view. We're going to get these um, questions later on in the story. So, blah, blah, blah. Again, I even say she had been my girlfriend for almost three years and still she attempted to stay my psychiatrist. We've established that already. That can be omitted. Okay. Uh, I told her I could only deal with one Lily, the girlfriend or the shrink. We fought often. We broke up. We had sex. I like that line. You know, my life was normal. Occasionally dramatic, but normal. And I had taken it for granted so much at the time. My story began on a Sunday, when Lily had blackmailed me into joining her for a service at her church, when I had finally run out of excuses. Looking back now, I should have never gotten out of bed. So, essentially, this could have been a lot shorter. And honestly, I would even argue that an introduction like this would not be necessary. Bring the reader into the action at first. This is a very bad example of a first chapter. It takes six pages to get into an actual conversation with the characters. Um, otherwise, it's just all backstory. And nobody cares at that point. Nobody knows the characters. Nobody can relate to them. And it's all exposition. It's all spoilers. So when I look at the views on my story, I kind of have pre previously have wondered, hmm, there's like... There's like uh, 400 people that have checked out the first chapter of this story. And there's only 30 who've checked out the second. Yeah, this is why. So I hope that it's possible you guys give this story a chance. Because I'd like to think that it does get better after this awful first chapter. And maybe you can take something away from this. So this was fun roasting my own story. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!